Balls and swimming are his two loves. So as long as he's in the pool, he's happy. He loves his vest. And even those goggles, I'll get the vest out. And he's like, yes, mom, put my vest on. He'll come up to me and nudge it. Once he swims for a while, he'll get tired. Then he'll kind of tucks his legs up like a little hippo. Hi, beautiful. That's so cute, oh my God. It's so funny when people say, well, do you guys ever swim? Well, we do, but we really just get pleasure out of watching them swim. Get that ball. Bruce was the one that got the pit bull train started in the family. I was in my second year of college. As soon as I saw his face on Facebook, I went and brought him home. When she showed up with this little pit bull, we just thought this is going to be awful. He's an alligator with fur. He's going to hurt our other dog. And the very first thing she said is, you guys love animals. How can you not love him? He literally took a week in. Everyone was head over heels in love with Bruce. Brucey, terrible. He's my favorite dog. He's just a bundle of love. I mean, we're yeah. still mad at Annie, but we <laughs> love pit bulls now. We really fell into fostering after him. Lou was a street pity. When we brought her home, they kept telling them, listen, we can't fall in love with her. We're going to find a home for her. And within two or three days, mm. David and the kids were like, no, we're keeping her. We love her. Yes. That was our first actual foster fail. We're um, foster owners, is what we are. <laughs> Do you have a word for the microphone? The second foster fail was Lolly. He came from a pretty awful situation. I truly think he found his home, his happy place at our house. Kobe, he's a kid. I mean, he will drive you crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I also love that he's just a sweetheart. Bruce is his older brother, and they're really cute together. <laughs> There's just something different about pit bulls. Their personalities are just so big, and they do everything so hard. They just seem to really embrace all the great things in life. I've made some prejudgments that I shouldn't have made. And they've taught me that you can't judge a book by its cover. And that's a great lesson. They're wonderful dogs. And they're so loving and they're loyal and they are the best. 